Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Hello, friends. Hello, podcast. I've missed you. Oh, I know. You've been absent I've for been some gone. time. Yeah, so the whole of last week we were we started all the auditions for Australian Idol. Mm. So I've been on set filming. Have you picked one? Uh, we've still got four more days of auditions. So, so for the rest of the week. You haven't found them yet. What about um, the one that looks like Joel? I reckon she's got it. No, unfortunately she didn't make it through. Oh, good. There's, I, I don't think... I don't think so far from what I've heard, and I don't get to hear everyone sing, mm. but from what I've heard, I don't think we've got the person yet, but I do think tomorrow is the day that we have a couple of really, really special well, people. Joel and I I'm have a going, surprise. I just got in, sent the whole, the whole list of everyone auditioning tomorrow. Oh my God. We have a surprise ready for the audition, so. Yeah. Do you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is it? Joel and I. Yeah. Are you coming along to audition? Maybe. Are you? We can't say. Are you going to come and audition? Mm-hmm. Just working out whether we do Boys to Men, End of the Road. Yeah. I'll always do Boys to Men, End of the Road. <laughs> yeah, or Dilemma by Nelly and... No, there's not oh, enough, yeah. there's not enough vocal Rowland. gymnastics. No, I, I can do that. Oh! Or the Anastasia left outside alone. I yeah, think that, that one's a good yeah, one. Because I was going to do, do the Indian part. The yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, we bought, and we bought some cheap yeah, orange aviators. <laughs> Like, Are you going to do that bit? How <laughs> really free? Beautiful. You've yeah. got that down. I know. I think the judges will love that. I think so too. I'm I left the soap in my undies, honey. I left my soap in the undies, honey. Is I that mean, what the lyrics are? I left the soap if, in my undies. I've got to be honest. <laughs> if, if Amy and Kyle and the and Marsha, yeah. who Are you we just going to say the other one? Well, I just forgot. Wow. I forgot. I forgot because she was, that was a cast change. I know. Of course, she's a legend. But because we know them, if they don't put us through, we just won't have them on this show again. True. Well, Kyle will be fine with that. Kyle will be fine. I sat, me and Marsha sat in um, in her dressing room and had lunch the other day. And it was what probably the eat? greatest. Yeah, what does she eat? She, I thought she was vegan, but she was eating fish. Oh. Yeah. She really <laughs> I thought she was vegetarian, was she? Some truth, so. <laughs> I thought she was vegetarian, but she was ch- chomping on. Some- <laughs> Gosh, I love her. Right, and right next to me too. No yeah, shame. No, How God. embarrassing. I know. Well, when you know, Marsha I didn't Heintz, know where to look. I was like, what? talented woman. No, so she was. Eating, <laughs> she was. She was eating fish and vegetables, and I had a little poke bowl, and we had the world's greatest bitch session. Really? Did you? Yeah, Marsha. Who's on no, her list? She's just. I can't tell you any of the oh, details. I, I can imagine but a few. She. This is what Denny? I like because everyone yeah. thinks Denny. that she. Everyone I, reckon, thinks, I bet you Tina Arena's on there. Uh, Katie Berry. Yeah. She <laughs> is the world's sweetest person, and she is. Of course. But she is. Mm. She's one of us. Yeah. She's yeah. amazing. Oh, that's good. I love that. All right. She's one of us. <laughs> the cast of Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the podcast, everybody. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and John. TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. Monday afternoon. Daisy. Thank God it's Monday. It's the best day of the week. TGIM, guys. Thank God it's Monday. This show is good for what ails you on a Monday. Here we go. After the weekend, yes. we're hanging up with friends. Now, I'm confused. What? We're all together. Like, hang on, wait. No. The three of us are actually together this week? Yes. Or we're, today? I decided to rock up. We're currently all in the same room. How lovely. It's oh, so good. For the both of you. And I haven't so engagement high fived you yet. Oh, yes. I gave you a manly. big cuddle and got to see your beautiful ring. I know. The one on your the finger. The one on my finger this time. I know. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm more into your knockoff sunnies. You got them? Oh, no. They're in the office. They're very fun. Um, Why do all... you have knockoff sunnies? What's wrong? Why? Italy doesn't pay for itself, bro. I don't <laughs> know. Jack just gave them to me. I think he has the real version of them. After I have the, the ring. Knockoff. He gave yeah. you the ring. That's, I like them, though. You know. They're kind of blue lenses, which makes yeah. you look a little bit dyslexic, but it's nice. In yeah. a nice way. In a nice, I get like, it. I'm, right. a, I'm probably a bit that's dyslexic. It's a, a lovely compliment. That's Thank you very like much. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've seen your writing. I'm, There's a potential serious? for it. You've got I've very got nice handwriting. Writing. Very just, nice handwriting, just, but you love doodling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and I also don't like to read every word because I get bored. Yeah. So I, I make up the word that's coming up. more of an ADHD thing, not just yeah, like Have we got them or what? Anyone <laughs> going to bring them in or like are we, my are we padding for no nice. reason? Do you want to see my sunnies? Like we're doing them Did now. you really run to the now. office for them? Wow. But it's not that cool. They're actually oh. quite good. You reckon? I don't think they're good on me, but they're, they're good. They don't look good on you. Okay. <laughs> Can you put them on? compliment. I'll put them on. The cool dude in the corner here. They suit you. I just love how they ran from the office and then just put them in the producer's booth. You're <laughs> <up>. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. 
Oh, Jermaine's here. Here's my sonnies. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. Tones and I. A little bit of dance with me, Gov. It's Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Happy Monday. Um... Guess what? Formula what? One Australian Grand Prix 2025. <laughs> Tickets go on sale tomorrow, but guess what we're doing today? What? You ready for this? We're talking about Grand Prix on the show. Are you serious? We're doing, we're doing RL's GPGK. <gasps> Do you know what that stands for? Ricky Lee's yeah. Grand Prix yeah. GK. Yeah. yeah. GK. GK. Gretel Colleen. Goalkeeper. Close. No. Gretel Colleen. GP, GK. GK? Yeah. Oh my Think gosh. about it. GK. GP, GK. We want to give away tickets to people who have the best GK of the Grand Prix. A greatest. <laughs> greatest. Uh, Don't help. Did I come back no. from, from... Yeah, welcome no, back to radio. Is, this did gotten, I come this back as an me. idiot? No, well. I'm stumped too. <laughs> GK, goalkeeper. No. Um. Um. <laughs> if anyone knows that oh, in 2014, no. jump on the phone. We'll help you out with 100 bucks to spend at Shell Coles Express and Ready Express if you know what... GPGK stands for. I'm just still thinking about Gretel Colleen, to be honest. I like that. I though. That's better. That's yeah. actually better than what it actually stands for. Oh, GK. really? She's, she saved you my phone as GK. Oh, oh my God, that's she, amazing. Yeah, I ran past Jettle. Jettle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you did come back as a Yeah, I did come back as a Jettle. Colleen. I ran past her. Did you? We're on my way up down to the opera house one time and I almost fell over because yeah. I was so excited. She's national treasure. Hey, Iona, what do you think GK stands for? Hello. 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 Can you help yeah. me out? Hello. I don't know what GK stands for. <laughs> <laughs> Even though okay, the only thing is re- Next call, please. <laughs> Come on. 132410 if you have any idea. The owner just laughed in your face. She, I know. Just, she does. She called to tell me I'm an idiot. That's what she did. <laughs> Ricky Lee's Grand Prix GK. Yes. Come on. We've is got the a lot G of grand? On. Grand? No, it's grand. not. Grand. <laughs> okay. Are you an idiot as I'm well? Idiot. <laughs> Rakesh. Hi, Hi Rakesh. mate. How are we going? Good. Yeah. GK, please. What does it stand for? Oh, general knowledge. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> see? You see how hard it is to read like that? It doesn't make any sense, but it's general knowledge. I love it. Thank you so yeah, much for the help. K. No is worries. it again? It's general knowledge. Yeah, GP, Grand Prix, general knowledge for tickets to the Australian Grand Prix oh for next God. year. I would win this. They'd go and sell tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> Australian today. Eastern <laughs> Standard Time. Head to grandprix.com.au. Uh, next, we'll talk about the Kid Leroy. Yes. Or TKL. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Heard of it. On Nova. Watermelon sugar. Harry Styles. Hi. Harry. Hello, Harry. Harry Styles is getting around in his jumpers. Sorry, lots of jumpers Fluffy lately. Fluffy jumpers. Fluffy jumpers and sleeves. And his new haircut. New haircut. Sorry, I miss what you were talking about. My, my uh, headphones are all tangled. Yeah, but you're not in Melbourne. Talking. You're in the room with us, so you can hear us. I couldn't because you were doing a, like, a low <laughs> accent. Right, we were doing being? Like Harry Styles. We were just talking oh, about Harry, Harry Styles. Why were you talking about, about Harry Styles? Because we just play Watermelon Sugar. And I said hi. Oh, I love um, that song. Play it again. <laughs> I, I heard today <laughs> officially what Katy Perry got paid for the AFL Grand Final. Yes, that was a that was a lovely little text to wake up to to just so, know the official numbers. The official number. This is one hundred percent confirmed. Can I say the number that I I read in like you know just you know just just sure. the general public sort of. Oh, GP. Yeah. 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 Uh, what does that f- stand f- for? Yeah. <laughs> Gretel Pauline. Um, <laughs> Gretel. Five million. Yeah, that's what that's the, that was the story, which is that's actually what quite I a thought. nice payday yeah, for that's 13 what I minutes thought, work. Like everybody else. Yeah. Well, Obviously, it's, it's, I know. As I said it, I knew you go. Meh, 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 There's a lot meh. more than 13 minutes work goes into that. It's months of preparation. Yes, people with real jobs see it as 13 minutes. And someone had to make all those goon bags to float around her on the field. Well, she just had to go to the Gold Coast to pick those up. <laughs> a little bit like. Yeah. I used to tuck some of those, you know, behind. Behind trees and in the oh, sand, yeah, mm. yeah. on the G C. When Alexia a, makes you sexier. When I was obviously eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she got paid one point four million Australian oh. for that, which is still not a bad day's work for thirteen minutes. Am I right? Am I right? But um, the Kid Leroy was uh, performing a pre-show because obviously everyone gets obsessed with halftime entertainment because of the US. But yeah. we're a real pre-show kind of place. Yeah, we do pre-show entertainment, and this year for the grand final, it was the Kid Leroy. You actually came over and watched it at our house with your kids last. Yeah. Last yeah. night was very cool. We sat around, we had pizza, and we watched the grand final. And we watched. It was That's actually so nice. quite fun watching the Kid Leroy and what just listening to their the commentary. Kids. Yeah, because <laughs> your kids are really you. <laughs> I was invited to the NRL grand final. I almost wow. went. Wow! Oh, there you go. Yeah. 
Well, that's a good story, isn't it? Yeah, you I have almost gone. went. You should have yeah. gone. It would have yeah. been really fun. Dami did a wonderful I, national anthem. Dami just now. I popped no in the toilet fine. during that. No that's... one's getting angry about that one. No. Um, but there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of commentary, and I I just find this whenever there's a grand final, mm. with, whether it's AFL or NRL, there's just always people just. Canning, yes. whatever anyone does. And I think it's unless it's John Farnham or Jimmy Barnes or, you know, yeah. I feel like people are stuck in the 90s where they only want rock stars doing it and nothing else. Well, this else. is the tough part, I think, as a consumer because yeah. <clears throat> you, you you should be able to give what the pe- like the people what they want. Yes. But then there are record companies in big business that want to put people on a, on a world stage or especially with the NRL last night in front of three million viewers, yeah. they want to sell tickets to their guy. Totally. So there's a there's a party that goes, yeah, you probably should have hunters and collectors play. You actually probably should. But there are are, are also people <laughs> that watch the NRL that do love people like the Kid Leroy yeah. and Katy Perry because their music is played well, a lot on I, commercial yeah. radio. Yeah. I know a lot of people that tuned in to the of course. AFL Grand Final Concert for Katy Perry. There you go. Maybe come back. This is a bit of Kid Leroy. He's grown up. The man Leroy. No. I liked it when he did it in excess. It was good. This was really good. The smoke machine guy was a bit, it wasn't you know, trigger happy. A bit handsy. <laughs> Come on, wait for the drop. Koshy would love this. You were there. That was Koshy love this song. This is the Port Adelaide song. Oh, of course. Oh, I like his sunny. The guy girl. that was on the steady cam really had to work hard because all of the wide shots you couldn't use any of them because it was just smoke. Oh my god, that's like when Delta did the Commonwealth Games and you couldn't see her oh, at, no. all, at all. Oh and she, really? She like had a one beautiful dress on and everything. Yeah. Stop doing that. She wrote a, she, her, a bespoke song. I actually thought didn't think it was a smoke machine because it was a lot of Penrith Panthers fans. There. I thought it was all the vapes. <laughs> Just lush eyes, mate. A couple oh my of the God. boys on the side next to, next to the wind machine. Was that Bray up there? Get over here, Bam Bam. <laughs> um, but I, but you're right though. But then you got like I remember the State of Origin does like when Peking Duck did State of Origin. Yep. That was but that's amazing, unreal because it was a proper like because it's hard for the kid. There's one guy walking around in his white singlet. Yeah. Trying to get a stadium on their feet. True. Didn't people love the Veronicas when they did it? Yeah, I think they did it. Yeah, I no, think that was a popular one. Yeah. Peking duck are just so good. Look at them. Look how young they are there. Little babies. Oh and my then gosh. Green spoon. It is tough though. Because even last night wasn't dark enough. Because normally the NRL Grand Final over That's the AFL has a has the advantage because it's at night. Yeah, you because, can hide all the cords and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yes, but it's also right. the hard thing. It's why with with the AFL because it's in the day. There's only so much you can do because you can't use lights and even well, power on fireworks Perry, don't really go off as much. No. I watched Katy Perry and whenever they had a wide shot, it was just people doing this. Yeah, running <laughs> running to get out of the shot. Yeah, but I feel like it's like I I do love that they that they are trying to introduce the audiences who are obviously quite set in their ways yes. to new young up and coming or established artists. I'm not saying the kid yeah. is up and coming, but I do think people need to like stop just whinging to have Jimmy Barnes at everything. What about this? Because he yes, it would be amazing if he's at everything, but then it, then people would whinge that he's at everything well, and we I want something, something different. Can yes. I suggest something? Have them all. So have Katy Perry, but then have. Cold well. Chisel. Yes. And have the Kid Leroy and then have Hunters and Collectors playing Holy Grail. Yes. Yeah, but have more than just one bro, artist. Bro, money, money, money. True. Oh, you I was know. just going to say, can True. I tell you one of my favourites yes. ever was, <laughs> was Tina <Big>. Turner. <laughs> God is Monday. T G I M. T G I M. Yes. This is Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel on Nova. Oh yes, another desperate attempt to get Pepper to watch this movie. I don't think it's a desperate attempt. I think there's going to be no collaborations left for your little Moana too. While Wicked what? takes them all, are you ready to hear how many collaborations the Wicked movie's doing? Oh Who, yeah, what, who's in the movie? No, just the just different brands that are getting on board. Oh, okay, I'm going to take a deep breath. It feels desperate. It's not desperate. I'm going to buy it Stinks all. Stinks of desperation. Here we go. 
Wicked Deluxe Glinda Dolls with Mattel, Wicked Logo, REM Beauty Makeup Sets, Target Wicked Green Trolleys, OPI Wicked Nail Polish, Wicked Monopoly, Ooh. H&M Cro- uh, Croco Lab with Wicked, which includes graphic tea sweaters, a dress, purse and blazer, Wicked X Funko Pops, Wicked X Dr. Paw Paw Lip Balm, oh. Wicked X Lush, Wicked X Velospa Glass and Tin Candles, Reed Diffusers and Gift Sets, oh, and Wicked Official Event Calendars. I want it all. Get it all. I'm going to get it all. Do lip it. balm, paw paw cream or something? Yeah, I know. You, know, you could have green little lips. But you just need to get regular lip. You can just get regular paw paw. You know yeah, what Moana 2 is doing? Just in cinemas November 28th. Just releasing the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you're in trouble, bro. Hey. I'm not. I love you that are. you're the face of Moana 2. <laughs> I know. No. There's no connection with Disney. Don't worry. Disney uh, would not approve this. We'll do mailbag next, okay. Sunshine. All right. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Somebody stop me. On Nova. So good. I love that tune. It's good, isn't it? That's good. Bit of fun. Sunny Federa, Jazzy, D.O.D. Some days we had Adelaide. South Australia, more to the point. I love it. Oh, God, Adelaide loves Katy Perry. She's doing, doing four shows there. That's not Katie. That wasn't Katy Perry. That was Sunny Federa. <laughs> I know, but you mentioned Adelaide. Oh, okay. So I, I took the ball Adelaide and ran Adelaide loves it. the Crows. But, you know, different oh, song, okay, different, different okay, thing. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm just doing pop culture. I'm doing Nova. I'm sticking to my lane. Sorry, pop What's culture. What's happening now? Um, you know, come on, mailbag. The mail's here! Mailbag. 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 You've got mail. Nikki Lee. Tim and Joel. Ding, ding. Ding, bitch. It's Monday, so let's check the mailbag. I sent a message. RCJ at NovaFM.com that I use through our socials too. I mean, I've read ahead and I don't think anyone <laughs> in your relationship will be happy with this. But anyway, um, no. last week when Ricky wasn't here, yes. it was just the boys. AKA the Lynx Africa Club. Yeah. <laughs> we got this <laughs> big you news. You asked what happened on my trip to um, Italy. I did get engaged to the love of my did life you? after seven and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> did you really? I did really. Oh my goodness, so crazy. I was so, I was so happy for you. I still am. I am very happy. And, and as a proud so no you. voter, I'm still surprisingly. <laughs> you It's so funny how many people liar. ask me if that's true. You I'm like, no, not. it's a joke. <laughs> I know, because everyone who voted no, same people, the same way as people who vote for Trump, never tell you. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Little snakes. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm so for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Anonymous. Yeah. Um, well, do you know how many messages I've gotten like this? You must have got so many messages. But, but so many Six. of this. Oh. So many of this. This is, this is ridiculous. Get this. His boyfriend, well, fiancé now, thank yeah. you very much, looks a bit like Tim. Genuinely thought you got engaged to Tim based on the photos. And there's just, I'm there's sorry, just message Jack. after message after message of people thinking I got engaged to Tim. Like, you, could you imagine? What a, what, a, what a flip. You two would be a nightmare relationship. I know, it'd be perfect. You'd be asleep at home all the time and I'd be out. I know. <laughs> perfect. I, well, actually, that's a bit the same with Jack, so I wouldn't. I feel I so did, sorry I for did Jack. see so many that's of so... those comments. I know. I'm uh, as so if much. I'm way out of your league. You, you're yeah. a bit old for me. And you. But Jack's a supermodel. And Jack's a supermodel. Jack's like a proper model. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, he does like runways in Milan. He works 20 seconds a day. He works runway. less than us. <laughs> I was on a runway yesterday. Oh, yeah, well, cool and go to airport. It was, actually. Yeah, yeah good, good call. It doesn't count. <laughs> okay. Well, apologies to you and Jack. And congratulations. Oh, thanks, baby. But also, so happy also for you. you wish a bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, you've got something. This is, I do. This is... I, like, I, I thought I was happy for you re the engagement. I, I feel like I'm, I'm the same. more chuffed about this. I'm more happy about this because I know how much you and the two of you specifically love Joy Behar from yes, The View. From the yes. View. My so fiance and I love Joy and, Behar. And there was, a, there was a video that we got while you were away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> before you got engaged to Tim Blackwell. <laughs> and you were saying you were on the phone to Joy Behar. And I was like, what do you mean? Someone that you sent I a met. picture of us. You sent, a, you sent a picture to us of you on the phone, and then he said, oh, "I'm on the phone to Joy yeah, Behar." I've actually got the whole. So then I sent you a photo of me on the phone, saying, "I'm on the phone to Barack Obama." <laughs> <How> crazy. <laughs> I've got the whole video of my conversation with Joy Behar because someone at the place I was staying yeah. is like her best friend. Wow. But something's gone. I, I mentioned to her that I said, "Me and my radio co-host with a big, with the biggest show in Australia. Like you got to come down and do it. Um, like really bigging us up." And, yeah. and I said, "Me and my co-host talk about you all." 
the time. We thought about doing a podcast <laughs> about you. And Joy, I think, has maybe misinterpreted. I yeah. love it. So, yeah, there's, there's some audio because she spoke about you on The View. I know. Oh it's God. wild. This is on The this View podcast. Crazy. A few people have let us know about this. Here it is. I haven't heard this yet. I got um, a call the other day from Australia. Did I tell you this? No. So a friend of mine uh, was in um, Puglia in mm-hmm. Italy, and she was sitting with two I'd like to go there. two gay Australians <laughs> who have a <laughs> podcast who know about our show. Really? They put me on the phone with this guy, and he was going over the moon about us on this show. He listens and watches it every That's day. Great. He loves it, loves it, loves it. <laughs> She's completely she misinterpreted it. You hear the she two also gay guys. You were Jack. Is she all, Joy Behar thinks you're Jack. Did you, did you drug me? Have I have I proposed to you? No, no. I can assure you, you have not. Two gay Australians have a podcast. Oh my god! Okay, she has to come on the show now. So what? Who cares? We oh. have to fix it. You have to. Okay, well, I'd love to have her on the show. Just even on the phone. Can we get her on the phone well, by the end of the year? Because remember, but remember, we got Kathy Let on our last show of the year a few years ago. I oh, know she's busy. She's doing Kamala Harris. <laughs> tomorrow, and then she was on the phone to me the other day. I've got the whole five-minute video of my conversation. Oh, my God. And you. and what she took out of it was... <laughs> <laughs> two gay, two gay, gay Australians who have a podcast. <laughs> Carmela loves it. <laughs> now, uh, I got this from Hypno. Hypno yeah. Kai. Hypno Kai. Hypno Kai. Hypno um, Kai. We all love the track Ghost, don't we? That's me. Love it. All you want to do is haunt me forever. Oh, that's a big key. Well, that's an album edit. I didn't approve that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa. Oh, it's Halloween. It's coming up. Oh. Yeah. I've also been getting uh, sent uh, some mailbags of suggestions of what I should do for the Halloween P- pumpkin, pumpkin carving, carving contest. Competition. Oh, yeah. Yep. But they're all sending me the thing that I did last year that got banned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't do that again. But that was hectic. It was, and your costume was hectic, too. I know. That was rotten.com. Yeah. Okay. So this is from Kai, who said, Thanks, Ricky Lee, for the cover rights to your amazing track, Ghost. The cover rights? What? Now, is this I didn't the first one? Cover rights. And now you're too busy, Ghost to me. Oh, no. This is not it. This is Hypno Kai. Let's do this first. Weird order. Okay. Here we go. Because you always had the best of me, and now you're too busy, Ghost to me. Fun. Okay. Oh my god! It's a weird hearing. It's super weird because it's a f- completely different melody, but they've taken the lyrics and they've put a new melody to it. That's yeah. quite. That's quite fun. I love that. I know. What so, do you think? Is a little, it, little dance, a little dance number. Electronica. Is that what it's um, called? Yeah, be more on the ADM side. ADM, yeah, okay. I think that I think the kids call it. A, oh no, I don't think. Here's another that. version. Here's another version. Okay. And now you're too busy ghosting me, oh, and all you wanna do is haunt me forever. I love this song. But I don't know. What's wrong with my melody? Yeah, I mean, I prefer your version, <laughs> to be honest. My melody TBH. goes, stop stealing my lyrics and changing my melody. I prefer this one. <laughs> I love it, though. It's very cool. Yeah, thank That's you, guys. Amazing. Thank you, Hypno Kai. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Joy Behar. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Two gay okay. Australians who have a podcast. <laughs> no. I feel it like a star. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. I love that. On Nova. Two gay Australians who have a podcast. <laughs> oh, Joy. Oh, my gosh. Joy Behar sort of knows who we are. I sort of. But that's, sorta. Also, that's also the right amount for someone like Joy. But that's exactly what I want from Joy Behar. What you just told me is the greatest thing, that you're that the woman who you're with called her because you said, oh, my God, are you texting Joy Behar? I know, because I was with a very famous woman and by, just by chance having dinner with her. Totally. But then, and then she called her and then what did she say? She was like, I'm just in makeup. Like she was just getting what? ready to I do mean, the, makeup. View, the view. So what? Who cares? But she loves so what? The, who cares? I spoke for five minutes. Amazing. Well, that's sad from her, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but amazing from you. Um, it's time for this. One sounds today. Years old. Uh, I think we all have one today. We all oh, have no. one because I had a real like poof, on the weekend. Go, go. Oh yeah, you go oh, first. Then yeah, I've, yeah. yeah. I, I think I've got a banger. So Rich said to me, he was he said I, I was today years old when I found out that it is full bore, not full ball. <laughs> I've always thought it was oh, yeah. full ball. Like you turn it up. Yeah, I thought it was full, full ball. ball. 
Full bore. He's a full bore. He looked at me and he was telling me something and he said, yeah, something, 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 full bore. And I looked at him like he was an actual idiot and I was about to rip him a new one. Yeah. And he was fun. like, Google it. And oh. I was like. <gasps> I, I was this years old. I didn't know that. Today is I want to find out it's full bore, not full ball. Well, let me let me work, put it in a sentence. I work with Joel Creasy. He's a full bore. <laughs> full bore. No, that's different spelling. Is it? Yeah, that would be B O R E. Okay, I um, went and saw Joel Creasy live. He was a full bore. If I, but that's good. If I went full bore on stage, that's really good. It means I put some effort in. No, but is a bore is in the animal? It's bore. B O R E. Oh, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Is it the animal? Oh, though? I thought it was in the no, same. No, the it's B-O-R. it's it's uh, oh. something to do with uh, something about a cylinder oh. and go, back boring. in the day, boring. something about guns and okay, um, calibers and whatever. Boring, boring, boring. Now today is the king's birthday holiday, right? Now oh before gosh. you get into yours, I was telling my five year old today he didn't need, need to go to school. Did he know it was full bore? But I need to go to work. <laughs> yeah. And he says, so do you go to work while we go to the king's birthday? And I go, you don't get to go to the king's birthday because firstly he doesn't know you, and secondly it's not really his birthday no. and he's having a party where you're invited. It's yeah, the cutest thing ever. That was a couple of months ago in Melbourne. <laughs> What's that? The king's birthday. Tim's five year old is not going to a party for the king. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's thought he's had the day off school so he'd go to the king's birthday. Oh. <laughs> well, it makes where sense is it? I guess because he loves a birthday party. I love he loves party him bags. So yeah. much. Oh that's so cute. <laughs> it's like, oh he's so but much what is, like you. What it's is not your, even funny. I was today his old re King Charles. Oh, I've got some some hot juicy King Charles <laughs> tea. How's this? Su- suck it, Sabrina Carpenter. It. Here comes some Charlie stuff. Feel it. Um, he has just started to eat lunch. He's only just <laughs> taken up eating lunch after decades of skipping lunch. What? How, does, how else does he get those sausagey fingers? I know. So it, this is in... Um, he uh, doesn't eat lunch. Yes. It was brought to the attention by author Tom Boyer. Um, that he, who, Who's a full bore. Full ca- bore. Ca- called, uh, who'd written a book on King Charles called Rebel Prince. Um, but here's another thing that is, you know, hot steaming tea yeah. from the book Rebel Prince. Um, there's an excerpt claiming that King Charles, who, when he was a prince, shrieked and trembled when he first came into contact with cling film. <laughs> Because he'd never seen it before. It is pretty weird. Imagine the things that he hasn't seen or oh. done ever. He's, he he trembled. Most things. He trembled. I was like that when I first like made homemade rice paper rolls. I'm like, how is this going to turn into a clear rice? I'm like, oh, my God, it's like what? magic. <laughs> yeah, because it's like in a packet. Do you make rice paper rolls at home? Oh, so you do everything to like pass the time. Things you do with your fingers. <laughs> what about this? Do you know that song that you did at your concert that I loved, Purple Rain? Oh, Purple Rain, yes. Mm-hmm. Well, you know this <laughs> This was a live recording in wow. 1983 at a benefit show at the First Avenue Club in Minneapolis. And that's the song we know. All live. Just a full live. A full live recording. That makes all the like feedback and all of that kind of there stuff on the guitar. We've all got one. Love his cravat. So good. The best. Watch he went, he went full ball in that solo. Oh, yeah. 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 Good one. Call back. To the purple 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 Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Too cool for school. On Nova. Oh, chapel. Good luck, babe. Good luck, babe. Good luck, yeah. babe. She's a bit of fun. Oh, real yeah. busy. Yeah, I'd love to have a night out with Chapel. Oh, yeah. Well, she will, ca- she will cancel. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Who she do you reckon would cancel first, Chapel or Joel? Yeah, well, no, Chapel well, I mean, will she's met her match in me. <laughs> Chapel will because you'll pretend you didn't know it was on. What? I was supposed to be somewhere. Uh, let's look at the world hey. of glossies on screen, shall okay. we? There's um, a lot going on with... Puffy, Puff Daddy, Diddy, know, Daddy, it's hard to read. Love, whatever the hell his name is. He is in big trouble. It's like your font size bigger. Yeah, that guy's <laughs> never getting out of jail. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, oh, yeah, I don't want to say it. But there is, there well, that's are. That's a picture. Let's, let's go with this. So, there's a picture of Beyonce, Beyonce and Beyonce next Diddy. to him. And there's a, she's losing, apparently, you keep gloating to me that she's losing lots of followers and Jay-Z is as well. No, glo- a lot of people who are connected with Diddy, not just the, the Beyonce's and the Jays, are losing followers, as they should be, because a lot of yes. people are. 
It feels well, like a lot of people are hiding things. A lot of people are hiding things. And maybe there was a lot of people that knew about things and turned a blind eye. I watched a video this morning about a girl talking about something that happened with Kanye and Diddy, allegedly. And the and Bieber stuff from last week. Yeah, it's just, it's it's heavy and it's bad and it's just, it's not good for anyone Which involved. Which makes me wonder if he's going to, you know, make it survive the jail time. Well, I think they're watching, they're really watching him. He's yeah. on, he, like, he's on suicide watch and he's not allowed, he wasn't, yeah, there's yeah. a lot going on. Well, allegedly, many people believe that Beyonce and Jay have hired P. Diddy or had hired P. Diddy, allegedly, as a hitman to take out celebrities who don't thank Beyonce. I'm oh. assuming in their speeches well, and stuff. There was also something that one of one of the times that Kanye was on stage and he was everyone was, you know, he was in one of the he was going on a bit mm. of a rant. And one of the things that he said on stage was something about Jay Z about him he's gonna get his people to come and mm. to come and take me out mm-hmm. and he, he's gonna kill me or something like that. And that was really that was big. Yes, and the conspiracies are also suggesting that people like Lizzo, Lady Gaga, Adele and Britney have all stopped their speeches in the past just to thank Beyonce. Like, stopped down and weirdly what? thanked her. Anyway, Why is that's Adele all alleged. It's Beyonce. all strange. No, people think, say, that like, like, uh, like when Adele won her Grammy and she talks about Beyonce because she's an inspiration to her and Lizzo mm. and... Megan the Stout, like all of these people say it because they love her and she's an inspiration yeah. or they don't to want to them. Die. I don't like uh, any of this. That I don't is, like it, I don't I don't like like it either. Bit. That's gross. I know, it's gross, but it's fun. Um, next, Glossy, what's happening oh, here? Are this you is okay? Oasis. Oh, I'm okay because guess what? They're going to be Half the world away. soon when they come to Australia. <laughs> They're coming to Australia. Well, they're, they're teasing it. Tomorrow morning we'll know for sure. Look, they announced on their Instagram page, Australia, it's your shout. Yeah. Just, and just had Tuesday, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time, <gasps> oasis.com. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. It's so exciting. And all I know for all I know is there's big news. Yeah. And with our show as well, big news. Are you what? still gonna go and see them of course. over in the motherland? Yeah, because that's because that'll be probably a, I would even suggest maybe a year before they come here. You reckon? Uh, Maybe. You reckon they're just gonna go? Oh my god! I bought. I got tickets. I got tickets. Luckily, over there. Uh, for August nine, yeah. and and then That's exciting wasn't there? Weren't you saying that um, people are thinking because they do hate each other so much? Are they not going to make it through the? I whole... think that's all rubbish. I think they're fine. They okay. hated each other back when they were all boozed out of their mind twenty four seven. Yeah, and they're not now. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited for you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. This is like if the Spice Girls were to reunite with Posh. Mm. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that. That's my version. <laughs> Last glossy. What's happening here? Oh, oh I love that? this so much. Is that that guy from what's his name? Go on. Um, 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 a- a- Aiken. Something Aiken. Troy Aiken. Troy Aiken. Is that Clay, Clay Aiken? Aiken? It's not Clay Aiken from oh. American Idol. Come on, we're, we have to be quick. It's, <laughs> That's it's James, James Blunt. Blunt, and he oh, has. Oh, sorry. You know how everyone kind of hates him for some for no reason. Yeah. He's really just in on that, and he's saying that he's re-releasing his new album. 20 years later, is that right? Yeah. When and, is that? On Friday? On and Friday? What's the 11th? Friday. Yeah. yeah. And he was talking, he's just, he's put on his Instagram a really funny video just saying, you know, this album has kept me consistently rich for 20 years, but I'm going to re-release it. And if it goes to number one, you have the power to change my name. And he's, yeah, given a lot Good of examples him. of what people have called him over the years. I love Joe Blunt. Good on he's you, Clay Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Boom, light it up, party time. Yes. TGIM. Crank it. Thank God it's Monday. Woo. Monday looks good on you. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. TGIM, guys. All right, soon. RLGPGK. Yes. I didn't know what that meant at the start of the show because I turned up today as an idiot. Yes. But I know Welcome. now. Thank you. Go. Thank you. What Welcome. is it? What Ricky's does it stand for? Grand Prix General Knowledge. That's right. right. And we have tickets to the Australian Grand Prix 2025. They go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time from grandprix.com.au. But very soon we have your first tickets. We've got tickets. Get them from us. You just need to know a little bit about the Grand Prix. But from scrappy drivers to next, scrappy moms. Oh, this is wild. This is a ball pit fight. Details after (laughs) Eminem. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, etc. On Nova. Yeah, you love it. I still love it. You love it. I still love this song. It's good. Yeah.
Eminem here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Happy Monday. T-G-I-M. Did you see the beautiful videos of Eminem getting all teary and I crying? I did. He's a granddad. His daughter yes. got, when, he's, when she got married, though, and he sees her for oh. the first time. Is and, he a grandfather and, now? And, yes, then she just announced that she was pregnant. And then he cried. It's so cute seeing Eminem cry and Eminem going to be a granddad. Oh, shady. I know. Yeah. Please stand oh. up, et cetera. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like it. Mm. Um, I like the M&Ms. Now, um, <laughs> what ones? What's your favourite? You like the green one with the, with the white. I like their ads. The I, I think the they've been running the tattoo one a bit too long now, so it's time for some new creative M&Ms, but that's right. Okay. You, you know the guy with the tats? On. No. No. You know the M&M ad with the tats? I don't, I don't watch ads. I close no. my eyes when ads are on. Is that on free to air? That's Channel <laughs> 7's that? Ricky Lee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about scrappy mums, because let's be honest, the mums like to get scrappy. Well, um, 13, 24, 10, if you, what, what have you seen? Mum fights is basically what we're after. 13, 24. Mum fight scrappy mums. Oh, I go. thought you said scrappy moles before. Mom. Well, kind of the same no. thing. Kind of the same thing because I think there's a lot of mums. I know there's school holidays are all like you know all different all over the shop. I told in you don't attempt that. Not to mention don't it. Don't attempt but, that. No, but They're I different wa- everywhere. But I want to mention it because I know that you know there's some mums that might be feeling a bit scrappy at the moment because they've either still got the kids or that today yeah. was the first day back and they're relieved. Yeah. Can uh, I suggest something you know very quickly feeling. on this platform? Yeah, we're a very small country, really. Can we just get in line with school holidays? Holidays. I don't care about time zones. Adelaide, you can have your half an hour. I don't care. I'm over oh, that. No, I'm but I'm bit, over it. Uh, oh, yeah. Are you over daylight savings though? I love daylight saving. I love it too. Me but, too. But can we all just get in line with school holidays, please? Mr. Albanese, do something, please. Yes. Okay. I like it. We yeah. should call him. I know. Can we call him He's and ask him to get all the... <laughs> we'll get him on there. Let's get him on this week. Because we'll need blower. someone. Because old mate's off on her shift. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Discovering Australia's so next. Missive over there with your little hand, your little chody hand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to me. We are finding the next generation of Australian idols. Yes, yes. And we're here trying to solve the school holiday crisis. <laughs> okay. I know. And these crisis. two, these two mums got really scrappy um, in a in a children's ball pit. Oh, in China. <laughs> uh, they have ball pits in China. Yeah. Do they? Like ball pits like are global. Where you dive in and yeah. Amazing. These two mums went like they just went for it in this ball pit. Here we go. Look, they broke oh, out into oh, physical oh, altercation. The people were comparing the fight to WWE oh and God. MMA. They pulled each other's hair. They threw each other <laughs> to the ground. Look at that. She's pulling her hair. That's punching literally her. Literally like what I watched on UFC yesterday. Yeah, kicking her. Oh my God. No one knows how or why the fight broke out. Look at that. Oh my God. She's down. She's got a hair. fighting. That's no. not just a little a little slap. And that one that lady proper. trying to break them up, she's not even. She's I'm the lip reader. She said, do you want to dim some of this? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> God, that took me God, so long to I get. missed, I missed this room. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That's I would love to know. I'd love to know what fist. triggered that. Mm. Chopsticks. No, it would be some child. You know, it would be over the child. The child would have said something to the other Definitely. child. And then one mum's, you know, so, My kid didn't so say precious. That. Yeah. Yeah, well, you defend your child. That's what you do, I guess. I don't know. My mum, honestly, I could do, like, I could get shot in the face <gasps> and my mum would be like, what did you say? There's a little kid right there. Yeah. Right there in the middle of the fight. Looks like she's punching her in the back of the gosh. head. Oh, no. Coward punch. Oh. Coward, Coward punch. punch. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yes. yes, happy Monday. TGIM. Man, Monday, all right. TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. Let me take you for a ride to the moon, guys. Oh, oh okay. Close to the You're not going to leave me up there like those two poor astronauts. You know what I would have liked to to happen is for Coldplay to take this album to the moon and leave it up there. Yeah. Um, this is Moon Music, which uh, was released on Friday. We didn't do New Music Friday on Friday, so this is our chance to... Play like some of it for you now. I like this song. Oh, it's gone. Um, how would you pronounce Joel track 10 on CD2 oh, of let me no have music? A look. Oh, what emoji is that? Oh, it's the waving it's goodbye, a goodbye emoji. It's a goodbye emoji. Goodbye. goodbye, is it called goodbye? It's like they gave up. It's just a bit cooked, this album. Oh, I love Coldplay so much. I love them more than anything, and I can't wait to go see them when they come here, like, ne- next month. The, no, this at month. The end of the, at the end of the month. End of the month. At the end of the month. <laughs> end of the month. But um, I, do like, I do like good feelings from the album. Look what That's they've done. They've song. taken over landmarks in New York, which makes sense oh, for this cheeky. album because it's rubbish. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a fun marketing idea. I don't know. I, I mean, think I'm going to have to give it more time. Yeah. I'm going to have to listen to the album a bit more. Sounds very depressing. It's, it's kind of what moony. their music's like. But it's all I know, moony I'm not music. interested. 
I just thought they I got that. up there and stuff. I Twenty they got tracks. All of that out of their system when they did Music of the Spheres, the last album that they're touring now. Is this album ten? No. Is it, oh, is this nine? Yeah, they're, gonna, they're, they're only going to do. Yeah. That means there's more to come. There's more. Hopefully, with more guitars. Yeah. I, yeah, there was one song that had promise. It was all guitar-y and I was like, it oh, my God, it's pro- going to go. And then it, promise. And then it just no, didn't. No. It didn't wow. go. And I was so upset. I'm going to listen okay. to it more. Out of 100, promise- no round numbers. <sighs> 23. <gasps> Brutal. Wow. Savage. More party in the um, USA, thank you. Yes. Take a leaf out of Miley's book, Coldplay. You got a taxi cab and the Coldplay album was on. I'll get out, thanks. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Oh, Creasy with the inside LA Olympics, Goss. Well, I was just saying it would be, I mean, I saw this on Twitter. This was not my idea, but what, or X, sorry, Elon. Um, If they don't open the next Olympics, which are in Los Angeles, with this, with Miley Cyrus... I mean, what are they doing? But there's bigger LA songs, surely, than just jumping in but the cab at LA. But it's a party in the USA. It's a party in the USA. It's about to be many weeks of... S- oh, change it like in a song parody. The games in the USA. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know. And sing it just Tim like Minchin that. Tim does it. The games in the USA. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Oh, yeah, Tim Minchin should open the Olympics in LA. In LA. With It's the games in LA. That would make so much sense. <laughs> That's how he does it too. Yeah. Uh, it's time to play... RL's GPGK. Ricky Lee's yeah. Grand Prix. Yeah. <gasps> GK. I know GK. 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 Colleen. Goalkeeper. Rakesh. Yeah. GK, please. What does it stand for? Oh, uh, General Rollins. Yeah. Yes. Oh. If you would like to go to the Formula One Australian Grand Prix 2025, tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, call us now 13 24 10. You have to answer the third question correctly. We've got three questions. That's it. One, two, three. Three GKQs. Oh, nice. By the way, I still like this song. <laughs> it sucks. I just woke up. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Somebody stop me. On Nova. Guess what three words are never said after that song? That was great. <laughs> Love that good, song. Good, good answer. Good try. Love that song. Play it again. <laughs> well, I think Lady Gaga gets more, uh, like, you know, airtime in that than she does the Joker film. Apparently Joker's terrible. I know. And appa- they, everyone says, blink and you'll miss her. She's barely in it. That's, That's why I'm upsetting. going. Yeah. Yeah. But are you going? When are you going to go? No, I'm not going to go. No. Now that she's barely in it. No, of course wait, she's in he's it. Gonna, he's going to wait till it's on, like, Netflix or something, and then yeah. you just watch it at home and fast forward to, to yeah, you can to see Gaga. Lady Gaga, Gaga bits. Yeah. Okay, it's time for RL's GPGK. <laughs> So good. Um, the Australian Grand Prix, the F1, is on next year. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Head to Grand Prix.com and it's pre with an X, guys, just so you know. Pre with an X. It's yes. Grand Prix. It's Grand Prix. Grand Prix. It is March 13 to March 16. I was on the Gold Coast over the last little while and yeah. they're, they're already setting up for Indy. So it's like you can feel oh, it's when, so when, fun. When, when motorsports happening and in the air. And you can't not call it Indy. It has to be called oh, yeah, Indy. I was going to say. It's like Gold Coast, it's like Supercars it's 500 or something. Boring. 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 It's Indy, guys. Why is it, call, is it called Indy? Are they a bit like off-Broadway no, cars? No, because it used to be the <laughs> Indy cars that would go there. It's like, a, it's a, like a whole yeah. category of cars. What's an Indy car? It's an Indy car. Let's it's talk about Indy an later. Indy We're talking about F1 now. Yeah, but it's <laughs> Formula One. <laughs> We're talking Formula One Bad Australian Grand Prix. I just thought it might be like a car with like like a bit like a little bit chipped and like cool. Oh, it'd be like vintage. Oh, like yeah, manual. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. You need to answer the third question correctly, Lockie, to go to the Australian Grand Prix next year before they go on sale. Ricky's written some of these questions, so they are real. They're real. They are hardcore. they're real questions, but they're not really hard because I feel like okay. I don't want to upset people and make people work too hard for these tickets. No, people just want to go. Australia's sweetheart. Let's do it. Oh, I can't make it too hard for anyone. Lockie, what's your Grand Prix? or Formula One knowledge like? Reasonable. Reasonable. Happy Monday. Oh, happy, happy Monday, Monday Lockie. Okay. Oh, jinx. <laughs> jinx, gotcha. You can't talk. <laughs> okay, well, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know because I don't gonna not know this. what. Yeah. Mm, okay, you go. <laughs> I'll talk. Okay, so first question, Lockie. Name the newest Australian Formula One driver joining in 2025. Jack Doohan. <laughs> Jack doing well. Jack's doing well. Nice. Mixon. What a great family too. Great stock. Really? Do you know Racing them? stock. Yeah. 
Oh. Are they a famous racing family? Mm-hmm. McDoin. McDoin. Oh, that's like the Durack family. They're good in music theatre. Well, kind of, yeah. Durack's <laughs> doings. <laughs> same, same. Birch Moore's so doings. I should sit out of this game, <laughs> you know, I think. It's like no, the you're good Durax. at sports. That's a ridiculous, but hilarious. <laughs> the Durax. <laughs> okay. I love Lucy Durack. Hi, Lucy. Okay, Lucky, <laughs> second <laughs> question. <laughs> you excited for Wicked Lucy? <laughs> so you're coming here from, like... You won a competition, Davini. Like, hey, you know. <laughs> I just want to say hi to my parents in Perth. <laughs> We're doing an F1 con. You're like, hey, Lindy. I'm really excited to be here. Hello, Australia. I'm going to turn you off in a sec. Just be careful. Oh Question number gosh. two, Lockie. Question number two. At the Melbourne Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton will debut for which team? <gasps> Ferrari. Hey, That's Lockie. Lucy. That's hey, Lucy. Good. <laughs> hi, Lucy. <laughs> Hello to my sisters. Hi, Holly and Alice. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, okay this is good. I'm going to give you a different music for this one. Oh, oh. this is fun. This is a Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love, can we talk about The Little Mermaid? No. Oh, okay. We can't. No. Okay, Lockie, you have to get this right, and you've won the tickets. Lockie's you and Lockie on. should do a podcast together. Oh, my God. I, I want to exit this studio immediately. Lockie, you're right, mate. Will you make it to March yeah, next I, year? Cool. All right, just checking. I am ready to go. I'm just <laughs> very go. focused. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm Lockie. Not. We shouldn't be messing around so much. Hey, by the way, can oh. you... Oh, it's loud. <laughs> just say hi to Lucy Durack in case you're listening, Lockie. <laughs> Lucy Durack, she was Glinda Don't worry. Don't Woods. worry about it. Come on, He's this is the big one. Let's focused. go. Go. You're going to get this. Go. Lockie. Who won the Grand Prix, the Australian Grand Prix in 2024? Max Verstappen. <gasps> did he get it? <gasps> Lucky he oh didn't. No. He was on pole, but he didn't win. I feel, oh, no. I feel guilty. Lucky. We need to rip through this. We're going to give these tickets away. Okay, who have we got? You've got, you've got the phones there. You can read it out. I can do it if you like. Uh, Bavna. Hi. Hi, Hi Bev. Hi, Hi Bev. Tim, how are you guys? Hello. Hi, Bev. Good, Bev. Okay, do you Love know the answer? Show, TGIM. Oh, thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you. Well, hang on. You can't wait. You talk your way to these tickets. You have to uh, actually answer yes, the question. Fair point. Go Tim, for fair it. Point. Oh, go for it, Bev. Okay, no. who won the Australian Grand Prix in 2024? Carlos Stein. Yes! <laughs> You're going, Bev. Now, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, guys. Thank it's you so much. On sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. And I'm so sorry, Lockie. He was so focused. No, maybe you can take Lockie. I threw him off with all the Lucy Durack stuff, I think. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Heard of it. On Nova. Ben Lee and the Bell coming up after 6 o'clock and then your chance to win more F1 Australian Grand Prix tickets with Smallsy. They go on sale at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Um, this next story very quickly reminds me that our Dirty Bit podcast is oh back God. today. Dirty Bit. Um, and took a little break. Because your dirty girl's back. It took a break. Uh, you'll probably have to take a break for the rest of the week too, but this one is a doozy, so make sure you just jump on when you get a chance tonight. I feel like I've, you know, I'm very good at uh, guarding myself and building up a wall, and the two of you just know how to get me. Yeah, you crumbled. Mm. I crumbled. Mm-hmm. You just became Don't listen to it. <laughs> Christina Aguilera <laughs> dirty. Yeah. Dirty bit. Well, I didn't though. You, I just got, I got gaslit into it, and then suddenly things are pouring out of my mouth. No, you just started answering questions, yeah. honestly. And also, you chose that lifestyle. So- we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. You're welcome, Ricky. Lee. Okay. And I'm very happy for you. Thank Let's you. Let's talk also. very quickly before we get out of here about Dirty Towns. Okay. Over to you, the Pogues. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. I just found some... Some names of cities and places and streets and streams and lakes. (laughs) Wow, you (laughs) do you sleep? No, no. This is what I. This is the stuff that is like all taking up all of my algorithm. So as I'm laying in bed Mm. and scrolling for my life, this is the kind of stuff that comes up, and it makes me really happy. So I'm so happy to be back because I've got so much of this (laughs) saved in my my folders on Instagram. So. A pair of YouTubers have done a road trip of the places in the UK with the stupidest, rudest names. Obviously, this is right up my alley. Has um, even equally weird pub names. Yes, but they're yeah, they're they're messed. They're cooked. They're cooked. They're cooked. Su- they're cooked. Super cooked. They're super cooked, lads. <laughs> so some of the places they went to. I'm okay. just going to read out names mm-hmm. from the list. There are some that I'm. I've even left a note. Be very. Careful, because okay, there's go. one that I've really got to make sure you got your finger over the dump button. Oh, seriously? Okay, yeah, yes. sure. Have you had I've... a dump this year? I don't think you have. No. Aren't you good? No. Have you had a dump? No, not. 
No. That's because of that. Oh, my God. Stop. Leave me alone. Do your dirty <laughs> town thing. Maybe if you took less of that stuff, you'd be able to be more regular. <laughs> Metamucil. Sure. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going oh to read out from... I thought from we'd be had to wrap up. Quickly, hurry up. <laughs> hurry okay. up. Hurry up, Ricky. Okay, stop yelling at me. Jesus. No, you're going to make me nervous and I'm going to ruin it. No, go. And I'm going to get cancelled. So leave me alone. Okay. Wilsford come like. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say these once. <sighs> okay. Look how happy he is to be there. Oh, my God, that's me. <laughs> Please drive carefully. He's the best part of it. Please drive carefully. Oh, and the spelling as well. Have you ever heard of Slag Lane? <gasps> oh, no, but I think I used to live, live, live on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, have, you ever been, have, you been, have you ever been up Gay Stream? Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Am I allowed to say this? That's, also, that's your Netflix account, I Gay Stream. So. It's oh, the my, name it, of a place. It, 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 yeah, it's the name of a place. It's the name of a place. Mm-hmm. Cock Road. Oh, yep. <laughs> Two gay Australians mm-hmm. who have a podcast. Joy Behar's I'm afraid. So don't you be afraid. Minge Lane. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Who named that? Minge Lane. There must be some famous, you know, person with the surname Minge. That's on my Google Maps, That's that one. so good. Sunny <laughs> Avenue. Sunny uh, Avenue. Am I a child? Cumming yeah. Street. Okay. <laughs> well, that could be after Alan Cumming. That's the fine. town of Belland. Oh, oh, I love Belland. The town of Belland. Now, this is the next thing you got to be careful. This I've got my one. finger on the dump button. I have written in big letters. Okay. Be very careful. Okay. Yes, go. This is a real place. Okay. Oh my god, how are you going to do this? I'm, oh I'm, I'm, I'm sitting so far away. How from are you going to do this? <laughs> I have to stand up. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is a real place, everyone. Yep. I'm not making this up. Yeah. It is called. Just do it. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous and I don't even know Can what it's called. Can you just do it, please? Just so we can go home. Stop just do it. Because if I'm laughing, I know, I'm but don't laugh. It. I know, but you're making me laugh. I'm not. I couldn't be more serious. The place is called oh my God. Funt Cuck. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys.